Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie Channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about meuses and gamut formation. This will be the second quarter topic and learning competency number 6. This lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. <music> For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to first is to explain the process of meuses and its significance in the production of gametes. The second one is model the stages of meuses using appropriate visual aids or simulations. And the third one is to appreciate the importance of meuses in maintaining genetic diversity and ensuring the successful reproduction of organisms by using a KWL charts. In activating the prior knowledge, the teacher will present the pictures and let the students answer the process questions. In establishing purpose of the lesson for unlocking of content vocabulary, the teacher will use the match type activity. The process by which sperm are produced in male animals is called the spermatogenesis. Spermatogenesis occurs in the testes, which is the male reproductive organ. As illustrated in the figure, a diploid cell first increases in size and becomes a large immature cell or the germ cell. The large cell then undergoes the meuses one. Two cells are produced, each of which undergoes meuses 2 to form a total of four haploid cells. The four cells change in form and develop a tail to become male gametes called the sperm. In humans, sperm cells contain 23 chromosomes, as opposed to the 46 chromosomes found in normal body or the somatic cells. Sperm cells contain haploid chromosomes, meaning they have only one set of chromosomes. The process by which gametes are produced in female animals is called the oogenesis. Oogenesis summarized in the figure. It occurs in the ovaries or the female reproductive organs. Notice that during the cytokinesis following meuses 1, the cytoplasm divides unequally. One of the resulting cells get nearly all of the cytoplasm. It is the cell that will ultimately give rise to an egg cell. The other cell is very small and is called the polar body. The polar bodies degenerate after the oogenesis. To sum up, a human sperm is a tiny cell with a tail. A human egg is much larger. Both cells are mature haploid gametes that are capable of fertilization. For the work example, the students will determine if the statement is true or false.
for the lesson activity, the students will do the modeling the stages of the meuses. For the objective, students will be able to model the key stages of meuses using manipulatives, demonstrating their understanding of the differences between the two cell division processes. For making the generalization for the learner's takeaways, the students will answer the key WL chart. So using the graphic organizer, the students will answer the L column or what they have learned about the given term. To evaluate the learning of our students, the teacher will use the multiple choices questions. Thank you.